What up? Ooh, almost knocked my tea out. How's it going guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. For this first episode, I would like to actually talk about a God of War. I went out, bought the game, finally. Long overdue. I've been wanting to buy this game for a long time. Um, I haven't been able to due to time constraints. Finally got to play it. I loved every minute of it and I didn't even play it all. I had to stop halfway through and I had to get creating because the game was too good. I created a little piece for you guys and my goal with this was to basically create a tutorial to make a piece uh, that was hand key so you guys can follow along easier and also uh, a piece that is true to the source material so something that is more realistic instead of cartoony. Ultimately um, I couldn't make it too polished because um, I was doing it on my spare time, time constraints. Having said all that, I think I managed to achieve my goals. You be the judge. This is the final result. And this is how I went about doing it, step by step. First step, I didn't know what to do. So, the best way I can come up with an idea is by sitting down and doodling some stuff and googling some images and just like getting inspiration from different sources on what I can do and what the new God of War is about. Because I've realized that in comparison to the much younger God of War from the previous series, this one doesn't move as fast or as big. He has big moves but nothing in comparison to his younger self, which makes complete sense. So I had to keep that in mind when I actually started my animation about the pacing. It was a very interesting process and uh, this is what follows. And then in the end, got it. So let me talk you through this to make it a little easier to understand. Just wanted to have fun at this stage. Um, tried a few things, uh, some things worked, some didn't. Uh, I tried this front pose. Um, I didn't really like it and I think it was at this stage that I started realizing that the X was going to be a character probably most more important than the character itself since I don't have the main rig and I needed to put it right in the face of the viewer. So I didn't know exactly what to do with this but I know that I was on to something at this point. Step two, I decided to focus on the axe throw because that, oh, that mechanic feels so good. If I could do an axe throw, how would it look? Um, based on the current axe throw that exists in game. I know more or less what I want to do. I can see it in my head. Now I need to get reference, video reference of what this will look like in order to see how the body moves when the character does this movement. So I didn't have anyone else to actually shoot this for me, unfortunately. Uh, so I had to actually kind of shoot myself acting the fool and uh, you're gonna get the pleasure to see this as follows, unfortunately. All right, so step three. Now that I have footage of myself trying to act like God of War, I have to draw over my footage to make sure that I can get my main poses for my animation and I also can push the poses so they look as appealing as possible. Um, the reason why drawing over is so important is because I want to find the main poses that will help me drive the animation forward and they will help me set out and to think about where I want to take the animation, where I want to push it and how to make it better. So this is what I'm doing next, drawing over my reference. I'm showing a little bit of how things look from, from the outside but uh, um, I did it all in Photoshop, um, I found it easy and since I'm actually showing a tutorial, I think this tool is more um, accessible to everyone. So I'll put a, just a couple of layers on top and start drawing on top. There's nothing magical about it. Um, over here, I'm trying to 
get the main poses that I actually like, things that I'm doing that I'm like, wow, this, this looks cool. I definitely want to do this when I animate. I want to cover this pose and this, uh, this is an extreme pose, so I definitely want to draw it over. Um, I started drawing a little bit of the axe and also uh, at this point I'm thinking I want to add also a shield because that shield is also epic in game. Um, unfortunately uh, that idea doesn't come through in the end because um, I couldn't find a rig of a shield. Um, I, could find a ha uh, I could find an axe but I couldn't find a shield so that actually fell through. Um, and then I decided to kind of like give myself an idea of how the axe would actually swing uh, back to the main character. Um, here I'm trying to kind of uh, move things about to give a sense that the axe is swinging back so I can actually go and grab it um, and so I can help myself later on when I go into my Uh, here I'm having a little fun. <laughs> I guess at this point I got bored. Um, so, a little beard. Got myself into that vibe because why not, right? Um, and I'm still going through the poses. I also realized that my left arm needs to be more in view, so I draw that as well. Um, over here, I'm actually kind of a sticking out my arm more because my arm is too close to the body so therefore it just looks like I lose my silhouette so I'm giving myself a better silhouette and making sure that I have my S poses and my C poses uh, notice when I actually kind of uh, draw the line of action I go through my arms and then I actually kind of uh, mark either S or C so in this case you see for my back and I just go through it like that, key by key. Everything is set. It's time to go. It's time to start working. This stage is blocking. Blocking means Transferring everything that I've just done back into Maya, you'll see me kind of just setting up like the main keys and making sure that they are even in the beginning. So, sounds complicated, it is complicated, but it gets the job done. So yeah, this is what follows next, blocking, let's get it done. So I start this blocking phase by looking at my reference and my draw over reviewing it a couple of times, making sure that I understand everything, I get in the mood and it's always nerve-wracking when you start a new shot because you know you can only hope that it's gonna work out well in the end. Then uh, I go on into getting the main keys on, on the even spacing, get the posing right, all the main poses and golden poses and push poses that I talked about before need to all go in and as I go through them if I decide that I need to add things, take things away, I'll go ahead and do it uh, blocking is all about keeping it loose and even the facial, if I block it in, needs to be loose I just need to make sure that my character is posing right, that the timing feels right, and then I can sort out the details at a much later stage. The axe was a was a an interesting challenge since I really needed to actually kind of drive that weight of the axe.
you know, this uh, this uh, last uh, pose, um, once again, a little challenging since uh, the character needs to carry their momentum forward as the axe is quite heavy. But in my reference, I didn't have any space to carry momentum forward as I have a door in front of me. Um, but I think it worked out in the end. Trying to add the details of the fingers and hands um, once again without trying to spend too much time but just to drive the idea that the hand needs to be relaxed here, tense here, needs to be at a certain angle there, etc. And then here I'm trying to get the axe to kind of a fly a respectable distance and this is the final result of the blocking, something very simple but drives the idea quite nicely, I think. The splining process. It was blocking, so all keys were like set, so they basically are individual drawings. That's basically what blocking is. Now they're gonna start kind of uh, connecting with each other in a way. This is a necessary step. I'm gonna do that, put it to spline, see what the result is, how to get the result, whatever the result is, we need to deal with it and clean it up slowly, key by key, go into the graph editor, just getting the animation back to the point that it was where it felt dynamic and it felt good. Come with me, let me show you. So here, I'm actually kind of uh, selecting everything and pressing the magic button and boom, everything is now soft. And look at this mess. It looks like mush right now. It's been 10 years that I've been doing this and I still hate it just as much as when I started. But as I mentioned before, we need to do this. We need to go through this painful process because it's part of the animation. So let's get through this. So what I do next is go through the graph editor, especially for the hip, because uh, it's the most important controller. And just try to clean it and get it back to how it was before. Obviously, because everything was in um, stepped keys, which is like the keys that are, allow you to do the blocking. Um, everything is nice and contained before, but now no longer is no longer contained. Uh, so you need to actually kind of go in and make sure that when the keys or the poses are talking to each other, that they are connecting in a in a very nice way. So here things are a little more contained, but they are still really poppy, as you can see. Um, so once again, I have to go back after analyzing my Play Blast, um, my video, and I need to go and fix the main pops, the things that stand out the most to me. Um, I also realized that the axe is now flying in all kinds of weird angles since it's rotating so much over such a long distance, it's normal. Here uh, you can see me taking reference of my hand since the hand that I had on the axe was not good enough like the grip so I just basically grabbed my Dyson which was the closest thing to me that looked like the handle of an axe and decided to shoot some footage this is much later just when things are a little bit cleaner now I get to focus on the face a little bit to complement the body. The body's already in a 
passable state, so the face needs to be exactly the same. And as long as he's looking back at his axe, it's all good. And this is the final result up to this point. So step five, this is where you finish your animation. Until this point, I'm happy where the animation is headed, given the limited time. And now I've been working on the animation for quite a few weeks and I'm starting to actually kind of feel the burn. So I need to wrap it up. I need to actually finish this animation as quick as I can. And hopefully this will drive the idea of what polish should be. Enjoy, this is polish. So before I started polishing, the, all the animation and the shot that we we're working on the most I decided to go back to the first and second shots uh, to make sure that they are clean and they are a bit better in better state since I left them alone for quite a bit also at this stage I decided that um, the face um, shot in the beginning was not working so instead I've added a hand which actually makes it work much much better in terms of flow and it's much more in character since the character does raise a hand when uh, it calls the axe back so at this point I started to polish and go through to make sure that everything it's it's flowing nicely, um, all the limbs are actually kind of flowing into each other. So cleaning elbows, uh, cleaning shoulders, making sure that the rotations of the wrists are correct instead of broken, things that you normally don't see. Also the axe rotation at this point needs to be on point. And uh, once again, going back to the axe being a character, I really needed that axe rotation to be interesting so I put a little bit of a nest curve and I also kind of rotated the axe as he was flying out of his hand so this is nearly finished I'll uh, show you the final piece next enjoy Oh, that is disgusting. Super cold, need to stop it. Just like this video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the end. You could have been anywhere in the web, but you're here with me and I appreciate that. If you enjoy this, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate some feedback on this. This would be amazing. Even if you don't have time, just write dope or nope on the comments. And that way I know if it's thumbs up or thumbs down. That, that will be enough for me. And in regards to this, this video, was it too long, was it too short? Hopefully this is the first of many. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go and pick up that controller again and finish the damn game. Cause since I started this stuff, I haven't really touched the game at all. So I need to go and finish me that God of War. See you guys in the next one. Stay well, stay safe. Peace.